Tonight, we travel to Central Michigan, where we discover a hip-hop artist from Mount Pleasant who makes loops with an upright piano and rhymes through a megaphone. S to the M to the double O, B, E, threat, this way, this so easy, on the mic, gotta do it with me. In Kentucky, we found a family bluegrass band who spend their weekends playing on the streets of Pendleton, raising money for charity. And on the California coast, we meet a surfing blues band from Malibu, a town where the live music scene has become an endangered species. We don't have a place to play, so everyone's driving to Hollywood or going straight into the studio. been playing together for over 15 years. We've had duets, we've had bands, we've been Mike and Shannon, we've been, we've been everything under the sun. <laughs> so it's called My Sweet Love. The three of us met really on, um, I think, really psychic cosmic chance. It just it was very strange how it happened. We met in Malibu, and this, the day we plugged in, there was something happening. We're rocking in this little house, man. This is it. You know, we meet a couple times a week. Super cool things happen in there. A lot of songs are written in there. There's a lot of inspiration in there. There is a lot of frustration in there. There's a lot of anger in there. There's a lot of sexual energy. That room is just way alive. There's a lot of love in there. There's a lot of love in there. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of friendship in there. But what's magical about this place is it's located in the middle of Point Doom. And we've got the wild birds and we have the wild parrots going by. And we get to play at such a volume here that the neighbors don't even complain. The cool thing about it is it's not soundproof, so all the neighbors can hear us. I'd say within a mile radius they're listening and uh, we used to get a lot of complaints we were too loud. Now they're actually digging us. It's actually a very small town. And so when you go to the grocery store, you run into all your friends. We spend like an hour and a half in the grocery store sometimes just running into people. And I don't think people know that about Malibu, that it's very magical. It's mellow here. It's kind of like a lost gem.
the medium that we express from is very blues oriented, very roots, very primal, you know. Uh, and what it is is we're all like, you know, just staying grounded. Our music is very passionate, very soulful, very in the moment, and we love playing. We just, and I never know what's going to happen. Whatever we are feeling at that moment, that's what's going to come flying at you. Man. Maybe the high of surfing and playing music could be related to that sense of flying, you know, dropping in on a wave or playing with a wave, playing with sound. It just kind of tickles you, you know. There's a connection there for certain. We're going to play a song for you, Black Snake. Uh, Shannon came up with these kind of sexy lyrics, and uh, you'll see it's really swanky, and it's just really fun and really primal. It's about your addictions, whatever addiction it might be in life, whether it's um, drugs or it's just this snake that won't leave you alone. And at the end, the black snake moves on and goes to someone new. The state of the music in Malibu, you know, it's, that's a tough one because we don't have any clubs right now. A lot of people kind of just faded away when the Doom Room closed and the Malibu Inn. Those were parts of this town's history. We don't have a place to play, so everyone's driving to Hollywood or going straight in the studio. So how is the state of music in Malibu? It's, uh, I'd like to hear more. I'd like to hear more. We play gigs all over the place, and we run around a lot, but it's always unreal to come home to Malibu. This place is happening, and I work hard to stay here. Hang on, music lovers, I'm coming. All right, here we go. <laughs>